Um, yeah, I think so. I think a little bit in the second quarter, we kind of let him get back into the lead, cut it down to eight by halftime when he's up 20. So that, that's frustrating. They're doing, doing a better job of keeping the lead. But um, yeah, we just want to come out and play. And like I said, we want to come with a different mindset and be focused for 48 minutes. Are you mindful that you set up for tonight? Um, no, everybody on my team is just trying to tell me to get 20. I mean, that's some of my, one of my goals is try to get 20. So I keep falling short. <laughs> First three games of the song stand, like you, you were scored. Last two games, you were facilitating more and more. How does that, when you go into a game, it's just the defense gives you, you go in the mindset of how to get past for Scott today. Um, it depends. I mean, I kind of just go with the, how the game starts off. I make a couple shots early on. When I see teams give me opportunity to take jump shots and lanes to the basket, I'd be aggressive. Uh, tonight they were staying a little longer, and it was opportunity to get marching those guys in. I don't know those guys open shots, so you know, I, I, I kind of could tell where the game is going. So this one, you guys are your best when you pass first guy? Um, yeah, I always try to be a pass first guy. So in certain situations, I have to be aggressive and start scoring for the team. But that's my mindset going into trying to get everybody into a rhythm pretty early. It's, it makes the game a lot easier closer closer to the end of the game when the team start double teaming me if I'm missing shots. Those guys have a rhythm that can help close out games with me. Jumped in late. Uh, the way you guys jumped on them defensively in the first quarter, just a lot of keys to really blocking them. Uh, well, we knew playing this team, they, they play the triangle very well. And if you don't you know, take any, like they're waiting for one of the five guys to take a break and you know, they get you with the back door or something like that. So we wanted to come out and just be, take a lot of pressure with those guys. And we knew how we beat them early on in the season. It's denying their passes and then making them do stuff that they want to do. Uh, if you let them get into a flow and move the ball side to side, they show they can beat certain good teams. Don't think too long. You, guys, you said you guys lost this all the way to lose this game, but they cut the lead down. Was it, the, it didn't seem like it was the same stress level that maybe you guys had in the previous game where you let the lead get cut from 34 to 15. Did it feel similar? Or did this it, feel it was similar a little bit. I mean, our second game was kind of stagnant at times, and then when I got back in, I had like two careless turnovers, and it got fast breaks and got into the lead, and we didn't stick with our defensive concepts. I think Larkins got two out of jump shots, and I got a couple of threes in transition, so it was kind of frustrating, but we had to get back on the right track and know that we had to put this team away because their team is playing really for nothing, just trying to compete and go out there and play the, the right way. Memphis is coming up tomorrow. They didn't play a lot of your guys last time you guys played them. Is that pretty much going to be the difference? Is this going to be a much more contested sort of game since both of you guys? Oh, yeah, it's totally going to be a different game. I mean, especially with Marcus O'Hall and, uh, you know, Zach Randolph and, and uh, Mike Conley back. I mean, they're a totally different team. Those are the keys to their team and the catalyst. You know, we know it's a tough arena to go play in. I mean, we haven't won there in a while, so we want to go out there and play the right way. You know, this is a good test for us. Pace. You're going to have to yeah, that's a, pace. Yeah, you got to beat them pace. They want to play slow and throw the ball inside, and we want to add tempo to the game and try to get a lot of shots up. Do you want to play the fourth quarter of the tournament? Nah, thank you. I wanted some rest. <laughs> Otto had jump, jumped in late. Uh, the energy that threw and Otto gave you guys early on. Um, it was good. I think um, when Otto plays with us, he has to play that same way with the second. I mean, he played first and he brings a lot of energy. Uh, he's doing a lot of little things to help our team out a lot. And uh, that's something we're going to need going into the playoffs. And uh, Drew, he always comes in. A professional guy that always knows how to play the right way. Comes in and uh, brings a lot of energy to our team. And uh, spaces the court for the offense and gives the opportunity to attack the basket a lot more. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.